till now we are moving this block manually using left and right keys in this session i want to move this block automatically you might have seen games where blocks are falling planes are flying you don't do anything and they keep on moving so i will do the same thing with this block so that if i'm not touching any key and if it's going down it keeps on going down when i touch right key let's say it will just change the direction but it will just keep on moving on its own so for that what i need to do here is introduce a timer in this while loop this code is handling all key events but outside this block you know like here i need to maybe put a timer so here i will put some timer and on that event so let's say i have some method called self dot uh, so if i have a method called self dot snake dot walk so snake i have right so just hypothetically think we don't have this method but just hypothetically think that on this method snake walks on its own without you pressing a key now this rule loop is running very fast so if you do this snake will move really really fast so you need to introduce some delay and you can use time module for that so we'll introduce some sleep time so here we'll say time dot sleep let's say 0.2 second so every 2 sec 0.2 second it moves on its own 0.2 second moves 0.2 second moves and uh, in this walk function we need to implement here so let me just implement walk function here so walk okay what do we do in walk well of course in walk function now you'll be drawing uh, the snake and based on the direction based on the current direction at given point of time snake could be moving left right top bottom so based on the direction you need to increase the x and y coordinates okay so we need to have this direction parameter which i'll add here so self dot direction let's say initially you are making a direction up or down hmm? it could be anything i'm just randomly selecting and based on that direction so let me do this so if self dot direction is up so if it is up what do you do well we saw previously that if it is up you only reduce y see we are reducing y and if the direction is so let me just copy paste just to save some time here if it is right of course you are more manipulating only x if it is up y and so on this is something we already went through when we are looking at this function and you draw it so now what will happen is even if you are not press your any key in your while loop based on a direction snake will keep on moving on its own now what happens when you press any key let's say if you press left key you call move left which is fine but on this move left you don't want to change anything you want to change only the direction okay so i will say move left my direction is left if it is move right my direction is right move up direction up move down direction down looks good i think now let me try it so just to go over it on while loop when you call this function you are just changing a direction and even if you have not press any key on walk function based on a direction you are moving the snake so say i'm not pressing any key now you see my hands and block is moving when i press right key it just change the direction up key change the direction left key change the direction all right looks great it already looks like a game don't you think so in moving blocks games this is what they do 
So congratulations, you just implemented a nice version of a little small stupid game. Uh, in the next video or in the next session, we will convert this block into a full fledged snake. We will also draw apple. I hope you're liking this video so far. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and I will see you in the next session.